The developer of Magisk, John Wu, releases a Magisk Canary build without Magisk hide and people start calling him a traitor. Hey peeps, what's up, Manji here, back with another video and a few hours ago, the developer of Magisk, John Wu, released a Magisk Canary build with Zygisk but without Magisk hide. Now, those of you who do not know what a Canary build is, it is like a super experimental build, after that comes beta, after that comes stable. So Magisk hide has been removed and we have known for quite some time that he is going to remove Magisk hide and People are starting to call him a traitor and my reaction is like seriously haters are obviously going to hate but there is no point in calling John Wu a hater. He has already given the explanation as to why he is removing Magic Hide. Now the problem on the internet is you have something known as keyboard warriors. These are people who do not know how to read, do not want to read, do not want to understand how things work. They just want to complain. So how the brain of these people work? You go into Magisk or any app which will let you check for safety net. You check for safety net. Oh, my safety net is not passing. Let me go ahead and go to the internet and cry about it to the developer of the application that, oh, my Magisk safety net is not passing now. How will I use my freaking banking apps? That is how their mind works. Now, a few super important things to note over here is that Magisk only handles the eval type as basic. As soon as your eval type changes to hardware, which means you are now being switched over to hardware attestation, then Magisk hide is not going to work for you. You will have to install KDragons module, which is going to switch from hardware attestation to basic attestation. So that is one thing. What I'm trying to say or convey over here is that once Google makes the switch to hardware attestation, you might always need a module if your device is rooted on a stock ROM. That is one thing. Next thing for those ignorant souls, which I would like to mention is that if you ever try to read what he has said in the past, you will notice that he clearly mentions a few super important things and those super important things do include things like a new thing called Zygesk with deny list and this is going to preserve portions of the hiding code base and he also mentions it's not a secret that specifically designed modules can indeed utilize the deny list feature for hiding purposes hiding is in double quotes he is telling the developers out there who know what they are doing what to do and just because magic sky is removed doesn't mean that your safety net is not going to pass ever it is not the end of the world you might get a module you might have to install riru and you might have to install two more modules but why is that a problem it is you who decided to unlock the bootloader and root your device and somebody giving you a service of magisk hide for free decides not to do it and you all of a sudden are like you are a traitor you are working with google and all the blah 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 internet keyboard warriors things go get a life and learn to code if you are seriously like worried about it stop complaining on the internet try to change things by yourself because you are capable enough to do so but you choose not to do so you like to be spoon fed is what the biggest problem on the internet right now is and then you make the community toxic and that is why developers quit yes that is why developers quit people keep on complaining 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 and then the next thing john says is also super important right there are already modules out there like by k dragon which switch from hardware attestation to basic attestation so i'm pretty sure that it wouldn't be difficult to implement magisk hide using a module and then last but not the least again magisk is of course open source so those who want it are going to learn it and are going to fix it that is how it works that is the beauty of the open source community so yes stop being toxic over one feature not being there and i know it might be a super important feature for some of you because your banking apps are not going to work but then again what are you going to do if and when 
In fact, there are some banking apps which do not work even if you enable Magis Hide and all other apps are working but some of them don't work because the methods which they are using to check are checking the bootloader on your device directly. So come on people, get a life and instead appreciate what the dude has done for so many years for free. And now that he gets a job at Google, I mean, Magis is his side project, he's doing it for free. Google or his job is what is bringing food to the table as they call it. So yes, keyboard warriors, stay away, get a life and do something constructive and productive instead of crying on the internet.